What's up, YouTube? Today, I wanted to do a quick little um, walk around on the uh, upgrades I've done to my 2021 Trek Farley 5. It looks like I have a lot, but um, it's, a, it's a decent little setup here I got going. Uh, been riding it for a few months now, and it's been holding up awesome. I mean, the bike is really, really sick, fun to ride. And uh, I've done just a few little things that um, I guess um, most mountain bikers or people that ride bikes do. I guess it's just needed, but yeah, I'll do a little uh, rundown on some of the uh, upgrades I've done to uh, the bike so far. So up top here, first thing you can see is I did a little um, uh, stem phone holder so it's a little just simple one it sits up a little off the bike and um, I've ridden uh, with the phone on there on you know just uh, road and like light trail stuff um, nothing too crazy like if you were like like really flying downhill on some bumpy stuff might be a little sketchy but um, it holds it in there pretty good. It's just the one that wraps around all four corners of your phone. So I and um, I have a uh, iPhone, so holds it pretty good. If you had like a like a bigger phone, you might have a problem. Like a like a really big phone, you might have a problem. But any like normal size phone, it, it fits. Um, it's a Delta. I forget exactly what it's called, but it's if you look up stem phone mount you'll see something like that all right so the next thing you got a little uh frame bag here from lasagne this bag has little um pockets on both sides too for like anything like you know light snacks or whatever and uh it's like water resistant so i wouldn't recommend like you know full on rain with it but i mean you would be okay like the zipper like locks up pretty good uh, and then bag is pretty decent you know you could hold your phone if you weren't uh, using it up here or like car keys wallet stuff like that and um, you know snacks and whatnot I have in there when I ride and it's just really easy to use and uh, looks nice on the bike too so next um, we have my carbon uh, bottle cage holder so this is just one I found on Amazon it seemed like it was an, uh, quality and uh, lightweight and holds the bottle pretty darn good uh, I've had no issues with the bottle falling out and I ride pretty hard so you know nothing crazy but uh, here's it without the bottle as the mount right there and it looks sick I mean can't go wrong with matte carbon fiber and then here is on the other side here, on the other side here I have my little uh, mini um, high volume uh, Lazine bike pump so this is just a bike pump where it has a little mount that sits on in there too uh, but basically it's just uh, you, you undo this and then you screw on the uh, the what's it called the, the uh, valve and then you can fill up your uh, tire it has both valves so Presta and Strata whatever it does both valves so next thing you can see is um, the uh, Bontrager um, fender kit, fender set. So these fenders just basically just block you from getting slung with mud and you know probably protects your um, your uh, tube here, your down tube uh, with like rocks and stone chips and whatnot. So you see under there pretty cool it's been holding up well 
Um, and then here's the back one. It's a cool little set setup. It gives the bike definitely a uh, unique presence <laughs> and um, and look to it. But overall, like I, I really like it. Um, you can adjust the uh, the back angle here depending on if you want it like higher or lower. Um, you can adjust it. And um, I would recommend uh, if you get this lock tighting these two bolts here because it, it does have a lot of uh, movement to it and like vibration coming through. So you might want to put some blue Loctite on those. And then if you're transporting your bike too, you'd probably want to just, these are like buttons basically, you just unclip these buttons to um, take that off so you don't have a giant sail on uh, if you're uh, transporting your bike it won't fly off in the wind but other than that oh, I, I, I slimed my tires but other than that um, that's pretty much everything on this bike really happy with this setup I mean it just everything works there's no rattles everything is on there really good which is the main thing because that would be super annoying you know something rattling you know if you have any questions about the bike i'll try to answer it as answer it as best as i can um and let me know what you guys think of uh my build so far leave what you think uh down in the comments below and leave a like if you like the video all right thanks for watching see you in the next one peace